Good afternoon, my lovers. I'm back out on the fields, and I reckon I'm on a Bronze Age site here today. There's a huge ditch and an embankment going up. I'll show you. You see that embankment that like, going up through there, like right up onto a bit of a platform, and round this side here, just over here, there's a big ditch. I saw this on the satellite pictures. There's a big ditch just here and it goes up through there. It's really wide. So if this is Bronze Age, you know, that could be a big enclosure for a ditch. And then it goes onto this uh, uh, flat area. So I've just been digging up the top there and I just found a big chunk of bronze. So I reckon it could be Bronze Age. This could be a really epic site. There it is, look, a big chunk of bronze. So whatever that was, it's got shape to it. So it's off something. Could be a pot leg, I suppose. Broken one. Yeah, it could be a leg. Let's see how it sort of jets out angle. Mm, it could be a pot leg, I suppose. Not Bronze Age, but uh, still that's quite old. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's see what else we can find. Oh, I just found something. I thought it was going to be just a piece of lead, but it's decorated. It's got decoration on it. Look at that. It's got some sort of dot design going around the edge. Oh, it goes over onto this side. Is it lead? Yeah, I think it's lead. It's bending. Right, so what's that? Oh, that just... Is it lead? I don't know. It just snapped off. I think it is. Ugh. So it's sort of curving up, a bit like a bell, but it can't be a bell made of lead because it wouldn't ding jingle jangle, would it? So... So whatever that is. If you know... Comment below. Oh, I didn't live dig this one because I thought it was going to be a moo tube. And it's not. It's not a moo tube. Oh, don't put the glasses there. It's not. It's something else. Oh, is that a bit of pottery? It might be. It might be a bit of pot there. I'll look at that in a minute. But yeah, there it is. Hopefully it's got a design on the other side. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it was plated. Silver plated at some point. Look, so it must have been quite nice. Can't see anything on there. Huh, what a shame. Oh, well. Right, let's have a quick look at that. That looks like pot. That's pot. That could be quite old. Now, you can tell quite old pottery. Look. Because really old pottery. You see how it's got like it's red on this side, but this side's black. That could be because on really old pottery, it's sort of like it looks like two layers rather than three. You get a lighter colour, darker colour, and then lighter colour again. But this one is light on one side and dark on the other. But it is a bit on the thin side, so it could be a just a piece of a broken pot. But that could be. That could be Bronze Age. I've just found a fragment of something that's very old. Yeah, it's a horseshoe. Now, See the dents, look. See how the, the metal has been pushed out with the nails going in. You see that, like a little eyebrow? That could be Anglo-Saxon. Look how thin it is. That could be an Anglo, oop, breaking up a bit there. That could be over a thousand years old, that horseshoe. Saxon, Norman, around that kind of date. 
Oh, I reckon I've got a hoard. Huge signal down here, huge. I have to dig carefully. Don't want to hit my 50,000 gold coins. Well, probably only hit one. So it won't be a huge problem. It's a monstrous, oh, what's that? Oh, looks like iron. Oh no. Well, it could be a Saxon horseshoe. That'd be nice, an intact one. Yeah. It looks horseshoe-ish. Right, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, bother you with me digging out a horseshoe, so uh, I'll get back to you when I've got it out. Oh, I think I might have to come back to this field with the GPX 5000. Look at that one. That's a Saxon horseshoe, horseshoe all day long. Look at the shape of the nails. Isn't that odd? Sort of a wedge shape. See the bumps? So pity it's broken. But look at the size of it. If you look at the Bayer tapestry, you look at the size of the horses compared to the riders, you can see that they were very small. And that comes down to there. So this one's probably going to come down to here somewhere. Look, it's minute. Epic. Ah, oh, yeah, this is how you can tell it's old. See, this is this one's about 500 years old, I suppose. 600 maybe. But it's got no bumps on the edge. Slight bumps, but nothing. But this is more pronounced, like real bulging and sort of rounded. And also the the eyelets are like elongated. So they're elongated with a hole in the middle. So it goes down, in, there's a hole, and it goes down, in, and then there's a hole on the other side, sort of like, like a little trench. But yeah, that's uh, that's a Saxon horseshoe for sure. Oh, it's now the second day, my lovers. I, I didn't only add a few hours yesterday, but I'm back on the fields. I'm out with Roger today. He's a pro, he is Roger. He's expert at finding stuff. Uh, I, we've just found some weird looking thing i think it's a bronze age dummy you know one of those dummies you put in children's mouths to keep them quiet <laughs> i think that's what it is bronze age dummy yeah there it is look it's an iron shaft with a lead thing on top you can see where the lead's the, the iron's splitting through and a bit of iron right on the top of there as well so yeah a bronze age dummy made of lead it would uh, stop them from screaming and then it would have permanently stopped them from screaming after like maybe a month or so. <laughs> Ugh. On to the next. I found a coin. I found a coin. Mm. Uh... Oh, it looks modern. It looks modern. Uh... It's not a half P, is it? It is. It's a pesky half P. Post decimal half pence. No longer in circulation. Ugh. I wanted a Saxon coin, not a almost spendable half penny. Ugh. Oh, I'm glad I didn't rip the uh, clot apart with my hands on this occasion. Look, a syringe. <laughs> and I tell you what, if I'd been wearing gloves, they wouldn't have saved me. So. There we go, look. They'd have to, they would have, well, even chainmail gloves probably wouldn't, they would have gone through the holes. Look at that, a syringe. First time I found one of them, metal detecting. Right, from now on, I'm gonna dig the, uh, cut the clod up with uh, my spade. Wow. Ah. Yeah, that's a pot mend, I think. It is. He's just put his new coil on. It's old coil. His, his dirt big coil. My new old coil. Right, so it's a new old coil. He was using the nine inch before. Two minutes and he's found something ancient. Right, yeah, lovely jubbly. Could be Roman, could be medieval. Epic. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh this is the best sounding signal I've had all day. Ooh, 1246. Sounds like silver. Could do with some silver.
Right, it's in there. Right, get my glasses off so I can see. Uh, no. Nope. Right, let's crack it. Oh, I can see a coin. Oh no, it looks modern. It looks spendable. Oh no, it's not spendable. Oh, it's quite old actually. It's a bit crusty though. <laughs> it is a bit crusty. Right, what we got on here? Uh, oh, I've got a date down the bottom. Uh, right, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. But I've got a coin, an old one. Uh, I can't really see. I think it's Queen Elizabeth, the the new one. The new one, the current one. The current queen. And I can't quite, ah, 51. Just about to see 51, I think. So 1951. Look, even coins back then weren't very good quality, look. Started to fall apart already. Victorian coins, 100 years before this, were in much better condition. Oh, I just come across another detectorist in the field. A chap called Dave. If you're watching, Dave. Yeah, nice to meet you. Right, just found a button. Just moved fields. Wouldn't find him much in that other field. But Dave said there was loads of hammered coins came off of it. I reckon it'll be better in the winter when it's a bit uh, wetter. It's starting to dry out a bit now. Right, lovely jubbly. On to the next. Oh, I just found something. Oh, yeah, that's oldish. Yeah. Yeah, quite old, isn't it? It's, hmm. What do you reckon? 1500s? Could be. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I just found a relic. A relic of sorts. Yeah, looks oldish. It's, it's a thing. Yeah, not sure what that is. Roger might know. On to the next. Oh, look what I just found. A button. It looks like it would have been gilded at some point. And it's got some sort of like geometric type, I don't know, sort of 1930s type pattern, I suppose. But it's got to be older than that, isn't it? It's got to be older than that. And it's got a nice pattern. And it probably would have been silver plated. On to the next. Ow! Oh, blimey, this ground's rock hard. <laughs> oh, I think I found a relic. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think the hole's a bit small for a spindle wall. Is it some sort of a wheel? Really small if it is. Yeah. It's all like battered around the edge. A bit like a wheel. <laughs> but it's all dented like heavily dented. Right, whatever that is. Let's see what Roger thinks. On to the next. Oh, that's it, me lovers. I'm gonna, we're gonna head off to the pub. I'd put Roger on camera, but he's a get camera shy. He was a waste of time bringing him today. Didn't find any hammers at all. Like I was expecting him to find at least half a dozen. <laughs> Cheers. On my true love, and gently drops the rain.